I'm here today to express the nation's gratitude to Justice Stephen Breyer. He served on the nation's highest court for more than a quarter century, presiding over some of its most controversial cases, from abortion to the environment. But on Thursday, U.S. President Joe Biden announced the 83-year-old Supreme Court Justice Stephen Breyer was stepping down. I think he's a model public servant in a time of great division in this country. Breyer was nominated to the court by Democratic President Bill Clinton in 1994. As he reflected on his years on the bench, Breyer concluded the United States is a complicated nation. It's a kind of miracle when you sit there and see all those people in front of you, you, you uh, people that are so different in what they think, and yet they've decided to help solve their major differences under law. Breyer plans to step down this summer when the Supreme Court completes its term. His replacement, Biden affirms, will fulfill a campaign pledge to make history. The person I will nominate will be someone with extraordinary qualifications, character, experience, and integrity. And that person will be the first black woman ever nominated to the United States Supreme Court. It's long overdue in my view. Biden says he's vetting candidates and will announce his nominee next month, one that won't alter the ideological makeup of the court that currently leans conservative. But the decision to nominate a qualified black woman is deliberate. Biden's eager to please black voters whose support he relied on in the 2020 election. The timing is no accident. With midterm elections for the U.S. Congress coming up in November, Biden needs to deliver something to motivate voters. He needs a win because already, to be quite honest, uh, President Biden has not been able to get his agenda passed with the policing and reform, the George Floyd bill. He's not been able to get any agenda passed with respect to voting rights. The new justice is expected to be younger and could sit on the court for decades. The Senate has promised to take up Biden's nomination quickly. President Biden wants a quick confirmation of his nominee. Well, Democrats still control the Senate. After congressional elections in November, that's no guarantee Republicans could take control and block any future Biden nomination to the Supreme Court. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, The White House.